Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, another video on series about salvage. Today we're going to continue with the Renault Captor because the main part that we needed for this car is here, the bumper is here, as you can see the bit of orange right there. Um, also we're going to have to deal with that bonnet, unfortunately it's just going to have to be fixed, it's, uh, it's a bit of a, a bad do but is what it is, let's just get on with it. I'm gonna spin you around, we're gonna dive straight into it. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel. So our little Renault Captor. Um, so I've got the strut on order, I've got the arch trims on order, and I've got floor mats. That's all this car needs. We need to deal with this bumper and this bonnet in this video. And um, perhaps, I don't know, we'll just see how far we get. The bumper, is just sat on and that's so I could straighten this bonnet as much as possible which has now been done so the bottom lip now is even all the way around all the way around all the way around but obviously we've been left with these little crease lines that's because on the underside that's where the inner skin meets so there's nothing that can be doing with them uh, there's a tiny little dent there and again a little crease there. So, we're going to sand this area down. And we're going to put a very thin layer of thinner, uh, not thinners, uh, filler on it. And then unfortunately the whole bumper's got to be painted. But we're doing the, bo the not the bumper, I mean, the bonnet's got to be painted. But we're doing the bumper anyway, so they can be done at the same time. Um, and what I'll do, this paint's obviously metallic. I'll take the old wing... And um, there's a place near me that can just well they put it they put the uh, the panel under a camera, and it gets you the best you know match possible really. Um, so yeah, this is not something I, I usually do, but it's something I do need to learn to do. So there is going to be someone helping me a bit today. So I don't know what in terms of time lapse i'm going to be able to get you because you don't want to be on camera so i'll do what i can show you as much as possible um like i said this is new for me so i need to be able to do it so let's just let's just get it done um so yeah i'll put you on camera uh and send this down and yeah let's just let's just crack on with it a bit of an update on the progress progress so you saw me sand it down um, we've got the filler in there and we started sanding down the filler now obviously there's a lot in here deliberately so that hopefully when it's all bush, um, sanded down 
um, it's going to be nice and even. Uh, so all I'm going to be doing now for a little bit is just nice and gradual, taking them out, taking it back down, a bit like that. And um, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> I'd say this is all new to me. It's not, not something I've ever done, really, not properly. Done bits and pieces, but not really with any kind of tuition and telling me what, how I'm supposed to be doing it and stuff like that. So uh, let's see how it goes, you never know. It's, it's cheaper than paying someone, isn't it? Okay, another update. <clears throat> so, I rubbed it down with the six, oh no, with the 80, and then I rubbed it down with uh, 240, 240, yeah, uh, 240, yeah. And then, what I've done is, just put a bit of you know, rattle cam primer over it to, to try and, you know, because that'll show up any imperfections. And there's only really two little bits, I think, if it'll come up on camera. I don't know if you can see, just, just there, that tiny bit, and maybe a, a pinprick. Uh, it's so hard to tell, it's like it's here, but I don't think you can see it on camera. The rest of it has come up really well, lovely and smooth. So now the next step is, again, just nib off this with the block and 240. Again, because that will show us any higher high spots, and obviously deal with that and then at that point I think it'll be time to take the bonnet off and prep the rest of the bonnet and obviously the bumper with the bumper I'm thinking obviously remove it with plastics it you, you run the risk of breaking tabs when you're trying to break these bumpers up so I'm thinking remove the grill at the top because obviously that's going to be hard to mask but I think what I might do is I might mask the bottom section off instead of trying to remove it all and obviously looking in the back of it is going to dictate exactly what I do but that's what my thought is at the minute but I am really happy with that it's it's coming out really well um yeah just shows what I can actually do if I've got a bit of guidance <laughs> I like it I like it so yeah I'll nib that off now and hopefully, um, yeah, we're at the point where the bonnet can come off and the bumper and start prepping them for a primer. I decided in the end to remove the trim completely. I mean, we've gone this far, there's no point half arsing it now. So both pieces are now sanded down, rubbed down, cleaned, panel white, everything. They're ready for primer. And I've got my primer mixed up. <clears throat> so, to do, so now we're going to get some primer on these. A nice, like I said, nice um, dusting first. Nice thin layer, that'll go off a bit and then we'll get a couple of nice decent layers on because obviously the primer will want rubbing down slightly before we go for colour. So get, like I said, get this primer on today. 
can have a good few days to go off because today is um, Bank Holiday Friday. Uh, so obviously paint-wise, I can't get the paint until Tuesday, which gives us plenty of time to go off, which is good, what we want. So yeah, um, really happy with this repair. Really happy with it. This looks good. Right, let's get some primer on and see how we go. Okay, so we're back again. It is now another day, and I've started to get the base coat on. So this has had, um, I think, two to three coats, and it's, it's getting some nice coverage. Um, now, bear in mind, this is just a base coat, so there won't be a shine to it. It's like a matte finish, and then you put clear coat over it. But it gives you a bit of an idea um, of how it's gonna look. If it's sounding a bit funny, when I'm breathing in, I'm putting my mask on because it's, there's a lot of overspray in here and I don't want to breathe it in. So I'm not going to hang around in here, but I think going forwards, I can't, I can't paint in here without a boob because look at, look at the overspray in it. It's, uh, it's going to get everywhere. So I am going to have to make a booth and I think I'm going to put it in that corner where the money is. I might even make it fold up so I can tuck it away when I'm not using it but I need some proper ventilation um, and I obviously I can paint I just need to fine tune. Like I say get a proper booth and um, do it properly and I've learnt a lot this time especially with the help from uh, my friend just showing me the actual proper way to do it and uh, what I'll do I'll, I'll come back once it's completely finished um, with clear coat on and I'll show you the finished article and it's gonna it's gonna look good if you look where that damage was on this bump bonnet I mean there's no trace of that damage at all it's looking really really good and it's a nice color this nice color so yeah, I'll come I'll come back to you like I said and show you at the end so I'm not having my camera in and this overspray it's gonna get all over it Okay, so there we go, finished article. This, these were painted now two days ago, so they've had a, a good chance to go off. Um, really nice shine, really nice depth in colour. Uh, it's funny actually, it looks darker on the camera. I think they're quite dusty in all fairness now, 
which might be why it looks a bit darker in the camera, darker blue. But they're nice and bright in, in, in reality. I think it all depends the angle. Yeah, it's weird that, it's a lot darker on the camera. Hmm. Anyway, um, a few little issues. We've got quite a bit of dirt in it, and that's because of the environment in here. Um, and, a, and a couple of little lacquer runs, I mean one there, but I can deal with them. And the best time to deal with them is when they're actually built back on the car because then it's rigid, a lot more secure. Trying to you know, deal with them on that, it's never gonna happen. So the best thing for us to do now really is to build this car back up and then, uh, and then deal with the imperfections. But just check out, check out that repair. There's no signs of that repair now, it's absolutely perfect. So really happy with that's come out. I can't get over how much darker the blue is on the camera. Hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, I think to finish off this video, I'll build up this bumper so it's ready to go on. And then we'll probably come back, do one more video on it because we've got the strut to do. Uh, then obviously we'll have the bumper to fit, the bonnet to fit, a good polishing and sorting out these runs and dirt and uh, clean up and a tidy to finish off the, the last of the video and to finish off the car. So yes, I think that's the plan. I'll put you on a stand, we'll build up this bumper and then um, yeah, we're gonna be done with this video and, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to, I'm really happy with how it's come out. Really, really nice finish. Really chuffed with that repair, really chuffed. All right, so there we go. All put back together. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, I really am. I think it's come out really well. It's got such a nice gloss to it. Um, really happy. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to now repair this bit of wiring that they cut for some reason. Then they must have been having a brain fart or something. Um, so that's ready then to go on. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Saved ourselves a few quid doing that ourselves. But yeah, going forwards, I'm gonna have to sort out a paint booth. Um, I mean, the lack of run is just inexperience. The dirt, we can definitely at least reduce a lot by having a bit of a booth up and make it easier to finish them off when they're done. But yeah, good stuff. Um, right, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, there'll be another video soon on this car and we'll finish it off and it'll be out and done. Thanks for watching. Cheers.